Hi there, I'm so happy you could join me. Now, I made this map recently, and when I shared it, I got a lot of feedback, particularly about that overview globe down there in the corner. And it was positive feedback, people liked it, and it's so simple to make. I thought, well, shoot, why don't I show you how I did this? You can probably guess at a lot of it, but I'll just show you how. Okay, here I am in my ArcGIS Pro project, this is the overview map within my layout. I'm just gonna turn this off and then make it for you. So here is a map, and this is all the content that I'm going to use in my overview map. I'll turn it all off and then walk through what we're looking at bit by bit, layer by layer. This is a layer showing world countries. This is sourced from Project Linework Moriarty Hand. So projectlinework.org has a lot of kind of neat hand drawn for the most part line work, polygons um, of, of like world layers. I don't know. It's just a really nice resource. And I found that Moriarty hand drawn by Dylan Moriarty is an excellent generalized layer for actual map applications, not just for fun, charmingly inaccurate kind of versions, but actually really good for small scale maps because there's not too much resolution that mucks things up when you zoom out. I'll show you what I mean. So here I am in Pro. It looks great, doesn't it? That's Moriarty Hand. When you zoom in really close, you can see it's really a little bit wonky and kind of wobbly and very basic and generalized. It's supposed to. Now, a lot of the times a mistake people make when they make an overview map especially one with borders, is that there's just too much geographic precision. And like the coast of Norway just shouts at you. Same for all these islands in South America. And we just need a very basic reference. And frankly, it's quite hard to get a generalized, to, to create a generalization from a high resolution source that looks this good. So just benefit from the generosity of Dylan Moriarty uh, actually hand digitizing all of these countries in their charming simplicity and use it for your overview maps even though it's not accurate that's okay you don't need accurate at this scale okay so here's our just world countries layer and I've made a duplicate of that layer and restricted it only to my country of interest this could be whatever the topic of your map is this could be a state a county another country an area of interest that's not a geographic or a political boundary, whatever. You get the point. And it's the exact same layer. I just duplicated it and restyled it and ran a definition query to isolate only my area of interest, which happens to be Slovenia, because this is the topic of my map, Slovenia. So I've got Slovenia here. We'll zoom back out. Now, if you're curious about this symbology, it's this is what it is. I've got a solid fill with a, a simple blue stroke. And then I've got this gradient stroke that gives it a slight kind of drop shadow effect. It's a hack, but it's really effective and it helps it um, pop off of the base map when you make it really small in your layout. And then the last layer I want to show you is this. This is a global background rectangle. It's just a single rectangular polygon that covers the whole world. And I've symbolized it to be just a very thick gradient stroke that's opaque on the outside and transitions to fully transparent on the inside of the stroke. Here's how it looks. Weird, right? Why am I using this? Well, that's because I want to give this a neat pseudo 3D uh, roundness effect. And that only comes to light when I change this coordinate system from WGS84 into a more rounded perspective of the world. I'll show you how to do this. So I'm going to open the properties of my overview how to map. Right now, my coordinate system is WGS84, you know, the default for everything pretty much. I'm going to search for the world from space. I choose this. Cool, huh? This is not like a 3D scene. This is a flat 2D map with a projection that kind of looks orthographic, kind of like you're floating in space looking at the world. 
my center location, my lat and long center is like right here. Um, but you aren't stuck with that default or any other default, I'll remind you. So let's go back into the properties and we'll look at this world from space. I'm gonna right click this and choose copy and modify. And now we can um, mix up the, the properties for this, this coordinate system. There's a latitude of center and a longitude of center, longitude, latitude. And right now it's negative 72, which is kind of out near the coast of the United States. And the latitude of center is 42, which is, you know, 40, almost halfway between the equator and the North Pole. We're going to want to change that. Let me show you what we want. Our area of interest is way over here. See that? This is Slovenia over here. Now, I'll remind you in the layout, we are going to have a little overview globe tucked into the corner here. And I'm not going to show the whole overview globe. I think that's actually part of the charm. I'm only going to show you a little um, slice of the globe, just like this, like it's setting, like a setting Earth down here in the corner. So what we want to do is center our coordinate system so that Slovenia is kind of um, in the middle of the top left quadrant of our Earth. Let's let's play at this. And I say play at this because it's a lot of trial and error. I already forgot the coordinates. Oh man, whatever. So this is going to be 14, was it? And then oh, 48. I forgot. You, you remember. I've forgotten. That's okay. Oh man. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, so now we're looking at Slovenia in the center, but if I put this into my layout, remember we're only going to see this corner and it's going to be not very good looking. What I want to do is um, adjust the center lat and long so that Slovenia is over here, which means I've got to put my center point kind of over here for my perspective. Let's play around at it. Open the properties and see this little underscore one. Often that's like underscore kajillion by the time I get it where I want it. The longitude, I want it to be farther east. So this is gonna be 50 degrees, let's say. Latitude, I want to make the earth appear that it's rotated up. So I'm gonna go down. Let's just hit the equator, let's say zero. And we hit okay. And that actually is not bad. So if I draw my imaginary quadrant here, I wanna pull this down a little. So my center point needs to go north, okay. Let's do that. Properties, copy and modify. It's easy, it's fast. Let's go 10 degrees. Usually work in orders of 10 degree. That is gonna look really nice, I think. Let's, let's give it a shot. So back in my layout, I'm going to insert a new map frame. And my overview how-to is right here. So pick this one, I, I never, understand the difference between those and now about placement I could just jam it all the way in the corner but I've got this neat line here that has content spilling outside of it which frankly I hate neat lines and the only reason I made this neat line because it was a chance for me to do something weird with a neat line and not actually cut the map off at that point it just helps kind of add a nice um, graphical framing element so I could put my overview all the way in the corner and let's actually start out that way. So, okay, so there's my world. I mean, I need to adjust the position. If I click and drag this right now, I'm not gonna navigate. I'm just gonna, oh, I'm just gonna move it. So I'll hit undo, control Z, go back. You have to activate this. And now I'm in navigation mode. Isn't that kind of cool? Now I can navigate this so that my earth quadrant looks like this. Isn't that kind of neat? You get the point, right? I'm just a setting earth. I'll exit out of this. Now I've got a big one pixel black border around my overview globe, which I don't like. And I'm not stuck with it. I can right click and go into the properties, which opened off screen. Here it is. And this little display doodad. I'll just say zero points for my map border. Okay, now it doesn't have a border and it doesn't have a background. I can see through 
in the corner area, which is good. Okay, now I wanted to place it here so it looks like it's aligned with this little neat line thing that I've added. Now when I zoom out, I have this charming little inset world. If I wanted to, see how I can see through this globe into the background? I kind of like that, honestly. But if I didn't like it, I could always go back here and make a copy of this and paste it and drag it to the very bottom and just give this a solid fill if I was worried about it, but I'm not. So here you are. This is how you add a little charming corner globe overview to a layout oriented so that it looks like it's kind of um, on a setting earth. Pretty fun. Give it a shot.